Ah, yes, the good old beautiful Microsoft Xbox. This is the original, the first one that ever came out. I have two of them on my desk, and they don't look so pretty anymore. But I hope by the end of this video, we can uh, make it work, if it doesn't, and make it look a little better yeah, than it does right now. So, stay here. You don't see any screws poking through right here where the stickers are. It means you're the first one to look inside this time capsule since it was put together. And that could be a pretty neat thing sometimes. And if you're a young person, you might not even know what these IDE cables or devices are. And uh, that used to be the standard in computers. I often wonder why you find uh, warning stickers on the inside of electronics that weren't intended for the common person to take apart that's why they put torque screws on them but this warning is nothing to shake a stick at uh, this is the power supply and it could still harness energy unless it is fully discharged just be careful how you handle that Oh boy, what do we have here? I don't see no evidence of any spillage on the motherboard, and I don't see any evidence of leaky capacitors, so somebody spilled their favorite beverage here somehow, possibly. Well, I guess it's time. It is scrubby dubby time. Gather up some cleaning materials, some Q-tips, some rubbing alcohol, some gooby gone, and uh, this might be a little dirty journey here. Um, if you have compressed air, that works as well. Your heat sinks might be a little tricky to get off. Um, you might need to heat them up with a blow dryer for a little bit and wiggle them. Don't pull them. Don't try to pry them with a screwdriver or nothing like that. Just wiggle them back and forth gently and they'll eventually come out. Yeah, might think it's funny, but a little soap and water goes a long way. And uh, leaving uh, steaming hot water on top of the gem, uh, it'll help it get off if that's what you're going to do. The Gooby Gone becomes handy right here because that pink crusty stuff, well this will get it off. It just takes a little rubbing. But you will need some rubbing alcohol to go on afterwards because you need to clean up the Gooby Gone, which is like oil based. Do be sure to re thermal paste both of those chips. Um, use a decent thermal compound like um, MX4. And they use a soft paintbrush with some rubbing alcohol to clean off the hard to get uh, dirt that was on the motherboard, brushing it lightly. <laughs>
Uh, yes, X does mark the spot, doesn't it? Uh, on the mod side, nothing crazy here. Just a cutout, um, one and a half inch on each of the lines there. And uh, for the little half quarter circle, I did uh, use the DVD to trace that. Just make sure to keep it inside the lines, your pencil lines there. And um, you can clean it up with a sandpaper, you know, file. And I'm going to use the Dremel to get as close as I can. You could use your hole saw now and punch a hole in where the gem is um, if you're going to clear out your gem and um, have some light pass through it, some RGB or something. Um, I did, but then I went ahead and painted it black, so I really didn't have to cut it out anyway. And for that X, unless you got some real deep grooves, a fine sandpaper will work. And for the paint, I went with Krylon Fusion. That's paint and primer all in one. And this is Jungle Green. Alright, the X is starting to look good, but what about that front bezel? Yeah, my soldering skills were kind of bad, so I had to improvise, but it all worked out. I don't know about you, but I'm itching to see this thing put together, so uh, how about that reassembly anyways? Pound Technologies help bring your console to life with these uh, HDMI um, adapters for Xbox and they got Nintendos and all kinds of different kinds. It's pretty cool. You can check them out at Amazon. I love it. It's easy peasy to hook up and it brings an uh, old console to a modern TV. Can't beat it. But I know, I know, I know, I know. Already, that's too much talking. Come on, let's just see the finished project. Um, yeah, I got excited to see it myself. So without any further ado, let's go check her out.
Woo, dang, I'm having a good time. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, be honest, how many of you want to go play original Xbox right now? Hey, <laughs> hey.